Um, so this is uh, a wave rider buoy. It measures wave height, direction and period. It's got some uh, accelerometers and a compass on board and some computer processing to generate a whole range of wave height, period and energy information. So the Wave Rider program in New South Wales was commenced by New South Wales Public Works back in 1970s, around 1974, um, after major coastal storms devastated the New South Wales coast. Um, those storms in 74 was a series of storms and um, the worst storms um, that have really been experienced in recent times certainly um, have been characterised to be about a 100 year average recurrence interval or a 1% chance of occurring any one year. Um, it was recognised at that time by the government that we needed to get accurate measurement of wave information. A wave Rider Boy was installed in Port Kembla um, after that, um, a series of boys recognising that the coast is different along the coast, a series of boys have been installed. Um, the present program is supported by the Office of Environment and Heritage and um, that program has been running now for many years, very successfully collecting ocean wave data um, as well as ocean tides um, and other uh, information on the New South Wales coast. Um, this buoy now, we're just uh, about to go out offshore to Sydney to uh, replace an existing buoy. The, the buoy uh, has gone down in about uh, 90 metres of water depth, so we'll let the buoy settle. Uh, we're going to now go and recover the existing buoy, and then we'll uh, go back and get a GPS fix on the, the buoy that's just been deployed. Wave information is very important for um, for planning, long-term long planning and design. The data is very important to determine what the coastal processes are and by that coastal hazards such as wave run-up, wave overtopping, uh, beach erosion, stability of coastal structures, sea walls and the like. So the wave information is very critical. If we get the wrong information, if we don't have accurate measurements and we estimate them, um, we could underdesign structures and have those fail critically during storms, or if we overdesign structures, we pay significantly unnecessarily for those structures. We, through Public Works Manly Hydraulics Laboratory, have been um, hosting near real time data on the internet, wave rider information for many years, uh, over a decade and um, surfers, yachties and others um, access the internet and can see what the latest wave heights and, and wave directions are.